it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies. So I've cooled down a bit now after the last night's Coinbase announcements of a possible addition of Cardano Basic Attention Token, Stellar, Ox, and Zcash. So if you guys haven't seen the video yet or are not aware of the news, go check it out. It's my latest video. I am a bit excited over there, I have to warn you though. So it's quite funny. But before we get to the topic today of one of my favorite crypto assets, remember to follow us on Twitter at Allcanvas Ladies and follow me at Allcan Sarah on Twitter as well. So you can stay up to date with what we get up to and just basically Twitter, crypto Twitter, you know what's it like. So like I said, NEO is one of my first investments. It's one of those old coins I invested in and they're close to my heart for those reasons. And in my opinion, NEO is one of the cryptocurrencies with the largest potential to become a representative of the third generation of cryptos. As such, it would be expected that its price would be high enough to top all other coins and to maybe rival even Ethereum or Bitcoin Cash. This is currently not the case. However, this situation might change soon enough. So for those of you who don't know what is NEO, I'm gonna go through it quite quickly now. So NEO is one of the most popular cryptos out there of the third generation. Its community is absolutely huge and a lot of people have chosen NEO before any other coin and I'm one of them. NEO is a crypto DAO was created as an improved version of Ethereum. It has recognized many of Ethereum problems and it has been working hard to fix them and to set a new standard on what crypto is supposed to be like. It has a large community and is one of the digital coins with the strongest foothold in the Far East, considering that it is the favorite digital coin in China. This is extremely important for NEO since China is usually not very supportive of cryptocurrencies. Considering that they seem to like NEO and that it shares a lot of similarities to Ethereum, NEO has become known as a Chinese Ethereum. The coin has entered a lot of partnerships so far and has had more than decent success in its four year of existence. And yet, despite a stable situation like that, NEO is still pretty underpriced, I would say, with its value being at $31.85 per coin at the time of the video. Many have been wondering why that is and how is it possible that NEO cannot rise back to the top as it did in December 2017. Back then, this coin managed to hit 160 per token and NEO enthusiasts are patiently waiting for the old price to come back. Well, as it turns out, you might not have to wait long enough, and I'm gonna tell you why now. So NEO's price has mostly been going down ever since this year began, with only one large part that occurred in mid-May. However, there are some indications that this coin can do a lot better. The low price is something that a lot of great cryptocurrencies share these days, and there might be a reason for it. According to some experts, this reason is closely connected to the psychology behind the purchase of cryptos. So to expand this a little bit more, we will have to briefly check the history of Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two largest cryptos to date, and both of them were very cheap at the beginning of their careers. Those who discovered them back in the day and recognized their potential saw that the time to buy cryptos is when their value is low. That way people have purchased multiple coins for a single dollar. And when the prices skyrocketed into hundreds or even thousands of dollars per coin, those people just became millionaires overnight. Now, Bitcoin and Ethereum are well-established coin with their potential being known to everyone. However, coins like NEO, EOS, Ripple and the like are still fighting to prove that they can be just as successful. By having a low price, they are allowing their users to join in and not miss out on another opportunity to make a larger profit through a small initial investment. After all, buying a lot of Bitcoin or Ethereum these days is not exactly an option for most individual investors. Even if their prices did go up, there will be not much profit when it comes to small amounts of these coins. However, investing in an underpriced coin, even in NEO, which is relatively expensive when compared to many other coins with the top 20, can still make a large return. The fact is that it is only a matter of time before the crypto market picks up the pace once more. When that happens, the prices are expected to skyrocket again and reach new all-time highs. The time will tell which crypto will walk in Bitcoin's and Ethereum's footsteps and become the main coin of the third wave. However, a lot of people believe that NEO is the right way to go. So why should you buy NEO right now? And as indicated above, the markets have seen some renewed life with the new month. There is some new excitement of sort of starting afresh with the second half of the year. The first half was not that pretty for what we saw Bitcoin drop from values of 
20,000 to a recent low of 5,800 just a few days ago, with the price currently being at 6,231 at the time of the video. But the tide has returned now and we seem to have bottomed out. Therefore, with this observation and the general mood in the crypto market, it is time to get a known performer in the name of Neo. The second reason why it is time to get some new right now is the past performance of the coin and during the bull run of late last year and early this year Neo has peaked at levels of $187 from what I remember on around January 16th the coin would continue holding its own against an ever dropping Bitcoin and it would continue to have a value of 144 late in February as the rest of the market was basically spiraling out of control. Neo was valued at $54 at the end of May only to lose its footing to bottom at $27 ish only a week ago on the 29th June. That value of Neo was back in November, I think. Yes, exactly November. 2017 and with a new half of the year comes new possibilities for the coin and a project that promises a smart economy. The current value of $31.85 will not be for much longer. Trust me guys. And the third but definitely not the last reason to get NEO is the news that the platform has started decentralization. On July 4th the NEO Foundation announced initiated the election of new consensus nodes that kickstarted a new era of decentralization. The candidate now run by City of Zion, after running smoothly on tested for over six months, got elected as a new consensus node. So City of Zion is an independent international group of open source developers working on Neo blockchain. As decentralization kicks off, so do the possibilities of actually achieving a global smart economy. So in conclusion, the above many reasons, mainly three big reasons that I gave, are just a few that should prompt any wise trader to buy some NEO as we wait for the next bull run. However, this is not a professional financial advice in any way. I am just summarizing what is NEO doing and whether I think it's a good investment because I know people often ask me that question. I won't do any price prediction because I don't like doing them, but I can see Neo going to a new all-time high, way above $200. You can now decide to go long on the project and coin by holding for a year or two, or you can just set a profit level to achieve then cash out during the coming bull run. And this is up to you guys. So guys, let me know what you think about Neo. Are you invested in it? Why are you invested in it? Why are you not? Are you planning on purchasing some more during the bear market? I also ask on my Twitter at Alcoin Sarah about decentralized applications. So this is the video I made about Coinbase and I got really excited. So if you guys haven't seen it, check it out, share the love, spread it. I was actually one of the first people to making a video about it. So I was quite pleased about it. So here two days ago, I asked, in your opinion, what's the best DApp platform right now? And let's see what you've guys been saying. So we've got Shash with Ethereum, Prismas, BitConnect, that's a joke, obviously, Komodo, Komodo, Ethereum, Stellar, Nulls, Ethereum, Ethereum, Nulls, Neo, then we've got my Neo, uh, soon to be taken over by next generation, like Zilliqa, Definity, Solana, Thunder, Tron, Ethereum, Lisk. So as you guys can see, there's lots of decentralized application platforms and there is so much choice. So in your opinion, answer it also in the comments. What's the best DApp platform right now in your opinion? And I'll catch you guys later. Enjoy your weekend. Have a good one. Bye.